so hello everyone welcome back to programming knowledge so in this video we will be learning how to set up flutter in windows 11 we will be setting up flutter in android studio so without wasting any time let's move on to our today's topic so the steps to install and set up flutter include six steps we have to install some of the application first we will be installing flutter sdk second we will set the environment variables third we will be installing android studio then we will install command line tools then we will accept some licenses and to verify is the is our flutter is set up properly we will create a simple project so let's begin step one install flutter so guys on your google search bar we will type flutter sdk then you will get a option so over here select windows then select android and then you can see the minimum hardware requirements for your first letter setup it is recommended to use 16 gb ram at least the minimum is 8 gb so let's move on and you can also see the disk space should be in should be available 60 GB at least. So let's move forward and over here. Most of the time it will be on this tab. So just switch the tab and install the Flutter. Let's install this. So I'm putting it on the desktop for now. Save. So it's installing. So guys now you can see it is installed so let's just open this and set up so to set up this you have to extract it let's say extract all and i will be dragging it to let's just put in this f drive and extract So it will take some time, but it will get set up. So guys now you can see a flutter is installed let's open this folder and move on to our next step we will be setting the environment variables we will be adding the flutter bin part to the path variable let's open the file explorer and open the flutter folder when you will open the flutter folder you can see there is a bin folder let's click open this click over here copy this then search environment variables into the windows then over here set the environment variables click on path then edit come down here add a new one and paste the path and select ok then ok and ok now to check whether a flutter path is set properly type windows r Open the CMD prompt and write over your flutter slash slash version. Now you can see it is giving us like a flutter path is set properly. So it's done. Now let's type flutter doctor. So we will get the details of the flutters is set up or not. 
so let's just wait for some times so now it's telling that android studio is not strong so with this our environment variable is set and move on to our next step which is installing the android studio installing the android studio go to google type your android studio then click on android studio download then download the latest android studio accept the terms and conditions and download and similarly i am installing the same into the desktop safe so let's just check okay so it will take some time to download now open the android studio.exe double click and the setup will be start give the permission now the wizard will be open click on next and i don't want the virtual device for now so click on next and let uh, the next step install after that it will take some time to install now you can see the android studio installation is completed now let's launch the android studio so the android studio will be open let's just wait and it will check for the sdk components if no sdk will be found so it will tell us to add the sdk so let's just add the sdk next next then it will say us to download something before that we have to accept some licenses let's just accept all the licenses and finish it let's just wait till it gets download Now you can see the Android Studio is downloaded completely and it's set up also. So now our Android Studio is downloaded. Let's let's type Windows R and open the command prompt. Type here Flutter Doctor to check what are the next steps we require. So now you can see we downloaded the Android Studio successfully. Now what's next we need? We need Android device like we need Android tool chain to accept accept some of the licenses. Now what? How we can add it? So moving to our next step. Now we will be installing command line tools. Now come to Android Studio. Go to More Actions. Click here SDK Manager. Now, when the SDK Manager will be open, come over here and go the go to SDK Tools. And over here, you can see Android SDK Command Line Tools. Now, click on here and click on OK. So now, the it will start downloading. Now you can see the size and click in OK and accept the terms and conditions and then now next now it will take some time to download so now it's done let's finish this and now the thing is done let's again type windows r open the command prompt enter flutter doctor
now you can still now you can see that there is the android tool chain command line now the error is going the error is gone now we only have the warning now how to resolve this warning for that we have to type flutter android licenses let's type this flutter doctor android licenses licenses let's just correct the spelling and enter now you can see the terms and condition will be fixed so now you can see over here you have to type y and enter now this is the terms and condition if you want you can read or just type y and enter so now all the sdk packages license accepted so with this we can again summarize that your splutter doctor now you can see every warning is cleared and we need visual studio only to develop windows app so right now we don't need it so let's just close this now move on to our next step so coming to our last step in this we have to create one project and check whether our flutter is set up properly or not so let's go to android studio so in android studio we will be creating a flutter project so click on flutter project then you have to locate your sdk flutter sdk path so if it's not there already so you have to find from over here i pasted my flutter sdk path into the app drive so i just selected it and click on next now give the package name you have to follow one thing that the package name should be in small letters only now next you can change the package name if you want to give you can give the descriptions now another thing like you have to select as all know that a flutter supports cross platform development so it will also create for android ios linux mac os web windows so according to your project requirement you can check and check the boxes so i don't want for any kind of desktop i just want for emulate for android or ios so let's just create so you can see it will be creating the project you can see the project is ready so let's just close this and you will get a readme file you can read it like i don't need it though now let's just select from chrome web over here and run the flutter project like by default we get the counter application over here so to run the application you have to click on this let's just click on the running it will download some packages as it is first time now let's just wait you can see our app is run <laughs> so let us just wait ha, now you can see the by default the counter application is ready by clicking on the button you can see it's adding the number so we successfully see how to set up flutter in android studio